Hey everyone, welcome back to another Time Attack video. Here we are once again at TMP in Cayuga for the CSCS finale. Now this is usually the biggest event of the year. Everyone shows up, everyone wants to get their last championship points to count towards national championship. I managed to get the transmission out on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday we got it fixed and on Friday I put it back in so we're all set to go out today. As you can see, there's a little bit of smoke coming through the vents on the hood. Nothing to worry about. At first I thought it was an issue, maybe I forgot to connect a rat hose or something, but it turned out to just be coolant that overspilled as I was filling the rat, which is a good thing. On to the main issue of the day, which prevented me from getting any good lap time, this turn right here. Anytime I took this turn, or any left turn at a slow speed with a high acceleration out, the car began to vibrate. The faster I took the turn, the more aggressive that vibration became. So I had to find a good balance between not compromising too much lap time, but also not going so fast that the car would vibrate and potentially go off track causing some sort of damage or I did not finish for my event. As I come to put down my first qualifying lap, I was able to put down a 122.5 and I'm thinking that should see me to the finals. Of course, I wasn't sure, so I still decided to do just one more lap. And again, I somehow managed to put down a 122.5 again, so I figured, you know what, in this early session, maybe that's all I'm gonna get from this car. I decided to just relax for majority of the day. Of course, I had so much people come out to support, so you know, a lot of thanks to them. We had the barbecue going on, we had some pizza, some pasta, macaroni. I also decided to do Max Attack. Now, if you don't know what Max Attack is, it is a wheel-to-wheel -wheel race, which is a reverse grid based on your lap time, and they also gap you, so the faster cars are a little bit further back from the ones in front. Now this works out good because it makes it exciting. Of course, it's going to be a lot of passing, and a lot of the faster guys coming from behind, lap after lap, to catch the guys in front of them. Now, I've been in, I think, three or four max attack events. This was by far the best. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One, the other events I was pretty much by myself the whole time and lapping on my own. This event, most of the grid stayed pretty close together throughout the whole race and at any given point, I'm pretty sure the people that were watching had something to look forward to on a turn. Whether it was a pass on a corner or a pass on a straight, there was always some sort of action happening. Not for me, but also for the other drivers. So I know from a driver's point of view, we enjoyed it. A spectator's point of view, they also enjoyed it. And I think it's one of the best max attacks yet overall. Now as you can see, eventually the faster cars will catch you. Uh, it's kind of inevitable when you're going against Lambos and Porsches. But it's all fun and games, and I had a blast. Now as I approach the final turn, you can see that the grid is still very much together. Uh, this was the last straightaway in my final drag race with this Porsche. You just see him pop out of my mirror and fly by me. Now, like I said, it was all fun and games, and now it was time to do the finals. For the finals, I was able to do lap times that were faster than I was doing earlier in the day. Of course, that's a good thing, given the fact that I'm trying to make the best of what I can with what the car is giving me. Uh, this was a pretty rare occasion. Most of the time, I feel like the car is capable of doing more than I can do. Uh, for once, I felt like the car was actually holding me back from setting a lap time that would have been much better, much greater if it wasn't for this vibration issue that I'm having. Of course, I've already started looking into that, but that's for another day. As I approach the final turn for my final timed lap, I was able to do a 121.04. Uh, this is less than three tenths off my best time at Cayuga. 
which isn't bad given the fact that the car isn't handling how it should. It was a bittersweet moment of course because I was only 13 tenths off making the podium even with the way the car was acting. Uh, I still had a good chance of making podium but it didn't happen and that's fine. So now we're pretty much going to be looking at compliance bushings, this the front sway bar and possibly the roll center adjusters just to make sure everything is okay. Uh, I want to come back out here soon and try to beat that time and also try to beat my personal best time or even try to get into the 119s. So that will be next thing I do on the track in the next couple of weeks. Just go back, make these changes and get back out here. Of course it won't be for an event but at least it'll just be for peace of mind and what I can do with the car around the track. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys for that and see you guys at Grand Bend later in October.